to dissect Colin Kaepernick's record-setting performance against the Packers, we'll begin with his accuracy. On this third quarter play, Kaepernick floats the ball 42 yards through the air to hit Vernon Davis in stride. In the ESPN Sports Science Lab, our eye tracking technology revealed Kaepernick can locate his target and get a pass off in a total time of only 640 milliseconds. That's about the same amount of time it takes an NFL corner to reverse direction. And in our touch pass test, Kaepernick was able to put a ball over two rushing defenders into a three foot wide target from 20 yards away an incredible 80% of the time. To put that distance in perspective, that's like shooting a basketball while backpedaling to the top of the key at the other end of the court. And his legs are just as impressive as his arm. Kaepernick sliced the Packers D for 181 yards on the ground, breaking the NFL single game rushing record for a QB. On this 56 yard TD, Kaepernick reaches a top speed of more than 22 miles per hour. That's the fastest in-game speed we've analyzed by a QB all season. When we put Kaepernick's acceleration to the test, he reached 80% of his top speed in only four strides. And on this play, once in top gear, for every five yards Kaepernick covers, the closest Packers defender in pursuit only covers four. This insane speed could be why the Packers barely laid a finger on him. Of Kaepernick's 181 total rushing yards, only three came after contact. We weren't surprised that Colin Kaepernick generated more than a quarter of a mile of offense against the Packers, because when we tested him in the lab on acceleration, arm strength, accuracy, touch, and throwing on the run, his overall numbers were the highest of any quarterback we've ever tested. No one likes to hear, I told you so, but when it comes to Colin Kaepernick's ability, I told you so. For ESPN Sports Science, I'm John Brinkus.